So Lisa, our viewers may have seen you yesterday talk about the passage of the Adult Survivor Act. And you and I have worked on a number of cases involving individuals who were sexually assaulted in the past. We did that under the window that was opened under the Child Victim Act, which uh, the window has now closed for that. But during that time, we heard from a number of people who were uh, victims of sexual assault but maybe they weren't children. They weren't under the age that the Child Victim Act allowed. Now we have the passage of the Adult Survivor Act. So can you talk a little bit about what that will mean for people who want to bring claims? Sure. And, you know, I, th I think it's important for us to note as well, um, this is the Adult Survivors Act. And we are, you know, deeply committed to helping survivors with uh, their attempt to get justice and to make sure justice is served. And as Jen said, this is the, um, the time when people who may have been sexually assaulted, raped, a sex crime committed against them at work, uh, in their schools, in, um, in other social circles, while they were adults. And what does adult mean right here in New York State? Adult simply means you are 18 years of age or older at the time this terrible um, occurrence happened. And so it may have happened years and years ago. And what this Survivors Act does, as Jen said, it reopens the window we call statutes of limitations so that adult survivors who were an adult, who were 18 years at least at the time this terrible thing happened to them, now have the ability to get justice. And Lisa, we know that sometimes these individuals have been sexually assaulted by individuals with big reputations, well known in the community, sometimes celebrities. How can an individual feel comfortable coming forward knowing that there might be publicity surrounding coming forward. Right, and so uh, sometimes that's the case, but oftentimes we are able to protect the identity of the individual who's the survivor. We look very carefully at those facts and circumstances and what the courts allow us to do because courts, like many of us in our law practice, are very sensitive to the ordeal that individuals have gone through. So there are mechanisms to um, enhance the privacy of individuals who are brave enough to come forward and seek justice. And what if it's the other way around? What if it's somebody who maybe was a family member or a neighbor, not somebody of uh, high reputation? Right, and, and those circumstances sadly occur as well, even for adults, right, as you say. Um, sometimes family members uh, or uh, in social circles, neighbors, colleagues, um, there may have been very unfortunate and despicable behaviors on their parts against survivors now. And so there is always an effort to um, move forward, to gain justice, but to attempt as best we can, and there are, as I said, mechanisms to do this, keep the privacy of the individual who's pursuing justice paramount in our heads. And oftentimes, these cases can be resolved um, outside of the court system by settlements, and oftentimes we are able to enforce confidentiality and privacy provisions so no one needs to feel re-victimized a second time. So if somebody doesn't know for sure if they want to proceed, what should they do given the timeline we have right now? Right. So um, as I said the other day, this law actually goes into effect in a few months from now, in November. But the time is ripe right now to contact an attorney to explore your options. And so um, the bravery it takes to come forward really is incredibly commendable. And we are committed here at the Coppola firm to handling each individual matter with the same sort of compassion and empathy we brought to our clients um, who came forward to seek justice under the Child Victims Act. And so it's important to call 
contact us now to start the preparations. This window is not going to be open forever. That's right. It's only open for a year, one year. Um, and the sooner the preparations begin, because we do expect thousands and thousands of these cases to be filed, just like they were under the Child Victim Act. So it's important to move with some speed. It takes courage and it takes um, strength of character, and we're here to stand by you every step of the way. Right, Jen? That's right. When you come here, you're going to have our strength and our support.